Say you have to give one of these, a needle, to your dog or cat. Well, if you stay with me through this video, you're going to learn exactly how. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. Today's video is featuring Murray, who just hap so happens to be a diabetic. Psst. Murray is our new cat. He's starting to figure out this whole camera thing when the camera comes out. It may mean I'm gonna be on video. So he's like, nee, I don't know about this. But he's been pretty awesome, he's super cooperative. What I wanted to show you exactly how I give insulin to Murray, how I give the injection, and I want you to draw those same principles that you can be using if you need to give either your da dog or your cat any type of injection. You know, be it you're having a diabetic pet, be it maybe your veterinarian is suggesting giving sub-Q fluid, so how to put that injection properly under the skin. Perhaps it's a B12 vitamin injection. Regardless, exactly how to do a proper injection. So to begin with, I want you to start out with a sharp needle. Um, I'll show you a slight difference here. So this here, or maybe you can't see any difference. So this is a small um, 0.3 of a cc syringe. It's an insulin syringe. So it goes up to 30 units. It's got a very tiny, tiny gauge needle, probably like a 29 or 30 gauge needle, which is considered very small. Um, but after using that for, you know, four or five days, that needle becomes a little bit duller. So it soars. You want to start out with a sharp needle. Um, here's a new one, so you can have a look at it. I mean, I don't know if you can see the difference. It's especially sharp. Secondarily, you want to use the needle that's appropriate for what you're trying to inject. So for instance, if you're trying to give your dog or your cat called sub-Q fluids, or you're giving fluid under the skin, you want to use a slightly bigger gauge needle, something like a 20 gauge, maybe even an 18 gauge needle, because in that way, the fluid can flow that much quicker. Um, if we're doing something different, you know, for instance, the standard injection that we gave in veterinary practice doing, for instance, say a vaccine, for instance, that'd be a 22 gauge needle. So, but the big point, the appropriate gauge needle, secondly, we want to make sure it's sharp. Third, I want to show you exactly where I do the bulk of the injections. So for the majority of time, whether it's going to be sub -Q fluids, um, if we're giving insulin, as we're going to about to give to Murray, I want you to get, give an area of your dog or your cat's, cat's body where there's a lot of sub-Q skin. And a real easy one is up in here between the shoulder blades at the back of their neck. Third, with Murray, it works really well um, where I've, he's got food here. Psst, Murray, kitty, 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 kitty. Murray likes to eat. You want to do something to distract your dog or cat. Um, ideally, when we're doing something like a diabetic, diabetic pets, you want them eating first before you're giving that injection of insulin. Because when you give the injection, that lowers the blood sugar. So you want food going into them first. The easiest thing with him, and I always would discuss that with most pet owners, is while they're eating, they're giving them food, and then they're gonna pair it with something positive. Great, I get the injection and I get some food. Such a better way to do it. When we're doing something like insulin, um, in particular, I want you to take the bottle out of the fridge, Warm it up in your hands, and I always suggest the pet owners roll that, you know, 20 to 30 times first. We're, we want to make sure the insulin is fully mixed. Um, this doesn't obviously apply to some of the other meds. sub fluids are ready to go. Some of the vitamins you can inject directly in. But if anything's in the fridge, it's a really nice idea if it's a little bit warm. It stings if it's cooler. So I just roll up between my hands, as I said, probably about 30 different times. This is our new sharp needle here. So Murray's dose is quite small. He's on one unit twice a day. And maybe you can see on there, there's marks on that. I don't know if you guys can get that in focus there. There's marks in the syringe, it goes up to 30. So that's 30, up to 30 units. He's one unit twice a day, so I draw up to the five, as you can see there, maybe right there. And then I'm just gonna, with one hand hanging onto the, insulin bottle, the other hand kind of flicking the syringe. I'm going to make sure there's no air bubbles in it. I'm going to push it all the way up to the one mark. He's eating, we're distracting him. I'm going to grab this full of the skin here and make a little tent. So it's in between up here in between the shoulder blades. And then I'm just going to angle the needle at about 45 degrees. So it's going down just underneath the skin. I'm going to fully seat it. There, Murray and give him a short little injection. There. 
And as you can see, I mean, he's so focused on the food, he's not really paying attention to that needle. And generally that's what I'm finding. You know, I, I'm using a sharp needle, I'm giving him food first, then, you know, fully seeding it, push, pushing it in pretty quick. So there it is, that's how to do a proper injection on your dog or your cat. Thanks you guys for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets on how to give an injection. In particular, give your dog or your cat insulin. Thanks, Murray, for participating. If you've yet to do so, I encourage you to click down there to like this video. Oh, Kevin Murray, click up there to subscribe to my channel. And lastly, click that link directly in the box below. And then when you do that and you sign up for my newsletter, I can send you my free books, my free videos on how to heal your pets at home with my top natural remedies. Thanks, Murray, for being pretty tolerant. Yeah. There, kitty. There's your food. Okay, that's what Murray's really about. Give me some attention, give me some food.